playing this gentleman from London that's here visiting us today his music exclusively. His name is Michael L. Pem, and I'd like to welcome him. Thank you for being on V. I appreciate it. Thank you. You've traveled how many hours to get to Vegas? Uh, it roughly was 18. Oh my Sacrificing, goodness. Sacrificing uh, three hours in Detroit just sitting there waiting for a connection which wasn't... Oh my brilliant. goodness. Well, welcome. Welcome to Vina. Thank you so much for giving us the interview. I really appreciate it. Now, some of the music, techno music that I've heard, I mean, you've introduced me to this whole world, but I mean, some of these people that I've mentioned, they are DJs that are wor known worldwide and they're playing your music. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, to be honest, when I found it out, it was absolutely uh, phenomenal. It was like... It felt like um, I'm going on the right path, that everything's going uh, great for the music. It's letting me know that what I'm creating, other people are, are enjoying, and not just other people, some of the best names in the industry. Now, talk just thrilling, so. well, talking about best names in the industry, you've also gotten to work with, um, not only not only are they playing their music, but you've gotten to work with Gwen Stefani and some other celebrities, which is quite amazing, because you're only 24, 24 years old, and I feel yeah. that that those are huge accomplishments for your age and I mean being in London and, and having this creativity behind you. What what introduced you to them? How did you get into that scene? Uh, basically I made the huge decision when I was twenty one to jump across the pond to Los Angeles from Edinburgh, Scotland and uh, thankfully it was a great decision. Uh, I met up with a really, really great producer uh name of Fotec. He's an English uh, drum and bass producer, pretty much really responsible for the whole drum and bass scene, but he's now doing a lot of work with Capital. I uh, worked for him, doing a lot of editing, engineering, just general messy work for all like clean up sessions. And through him, he got me a lot of work with a lot of big producers like um, No ID, who was Jay-Z's producer. Who was, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. Which, he, was amazing. he was actually a really great eye opener because like, I, everyone just told me hip hop people are just ridiculous to work with, they're just picky. But he just blew me away, like really? so professional, so chill, such a lovely guy. Really? And um, sorry, yes, you were saying about Gwen Stefani, yeah. Basically, that came about. I love Gwen Stefani. Yeah, you gotta love her, lovely. love her music. But, sadly, I never got to spend too much time with her at all, but I basically just mixed and engineered her uh, music for the Lamb Project, which is her fashion. Fashion, yeah. Which I know you'll know a lot of about. Course, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's amazing. So you're a sound engineer, you're a music producer, you get to work with big names. Where do you get your creativity from? That's everywhere and anywhere. If it's a sound from just walking along the street, if it's a, the breeze blowing leaves around, if it's a film and you get an amazing sound, if it's going to the club and just hearing the bass roar, it can be from absolutely anywhere. And I just feel you shouldn't really limit yourself when it comes to creativity. It should just come like through you and just just let it flow. Don't like think too much about it. Just let it go, and whatever happens, happens. You know. That's how I try to keep that philosophy. So. Well, I really like. Um, hopefully, pretty soon we'll be hearing Roscado, which um, I had yeah, the pleasure yeah. of hearing, yeah. which is amazing. Something that he created. Um, he will be launching it pretty soon. But meanwhile, we talk about that. Tell us where can we hear me, your music? Where can people find uh, you? I've recently just set up a domain with uh, my. All my music, where you can get, get links to SoundCloud, MySpace, and that is just www.michaelpedman.com, and that's all one word. And I also have my sample company, which is strangely named Spunkface Samplers. So that's just www.spunkfacesamplers.com, and that's a, a creation which I've created recently of just sample packs for people to really see inside how I make my music and get a basically ready available loops and samples to play live or to put to productions which I've had a lot of great comment and feedback on which I'm really pleased and the website is up at the moment but it'll be fully launched at the end of, end of February. So. You guys have to check out his music, it is amazing. I got introduced thankfully, thank you so much. He introduced me into this whole genre of music that I really didn't know of and you know what, I'm hooked. I'm yeah, really yeah, yeah. hooked. And by the way, if you guys are watching Vida, you'll know that the intro song to Vida was created by Michael <laughs> Pemmons. So thank you so much. Amazing, amazing. Uh, what's the name of that song that we're using? Uh, Ladies of the Jungle. Oh, yeah. Ladies of the Jungle, baby. You got that right there. So, very African-influenced <laughs> tracks. I just thought the name was well known. Uh, well, it's well with it. We love it. So make sure to check him out on his website. This is Vida. You can check us out at myviewinglens.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget, MissFaceSeamer.com. I'm Rosa Mercado here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. From London, Michael Elton.
Thank you guys.